Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey, and I'm here to go interrupt Misty's date. And that's what we're doing. And we're also fighting these six people that have moved from the bridge over here. This is, of course, a callback to the ancient times. When this was... Oh, Wigglytuff. I love that sprite. <laughs> what? <laughs> Oh, that's a very good sprite! That looks like Wiggly Thumb's like getting ready to do like a little dance. Oh. That's, that's adorable. Oh, now that I've been double slapped, now it kind of looks like she's giving it. This, this sprite gives everything. It, like, it could either be that, it could be like a hey, what's the matter with you? Something like that. Well, I guess it probably wouldn't be that, just to not be racially insensitive to Italians. You know, everyone loves Mario, but nobody wants to have the tough conversation about that's not how Italian people talk like. <laughs> hey, what's me? Mario! And everyone kind of goes like, Ha, it's funny! And then everyone who's Italian goes, What the fuck? <laughs> uh, sad but true. One day we'll reach that level where everyone can just laugh. Or maybe not. Chances are maybe not. Assholes always find a way to ruin everything. Hello, Grand Bull. Damn right! That was the power of Quetz feeling my sadness and completely taking you down. My sadness at a world that can never truly exist. Now I'm gonna go heal her. Because she deserves it. Dum, dum, dum. Yes, heal my Pokemon, please. And by heal my Pokemon, I mean just... Just Quetz and no one else. <laughs> Quetz had to take Master Ball to catch. Which is a high price to pay. But one I'm willing to... 100% double down on. It was the greatest decision ever made in Pokemon history. No one could have had such foresight into throwing a Master Ball at a Pokemon that actually runs away from you. Because this is a gen where Pokemon can still run away from you. And if anyone could remember that, they would see that I was making the right decision at the right time. Now, am I being justifiably defensive because two people left a dislike on a video where I used a Master Ball? Yes. Yes, I am. <laughs> uh, whatever, it's giving me something to talk about. I've done this for over a hundred episodes. You know how hard it is to find something to talk about when you're by yourself? I mean, some people have very graciously asked to be like, Hey, if you ever need someone to be on there with you, I'll be there for you. And I'm like, that's really cool. But for the most part, I'm always just like, no, I'm just... I record in the dead of night. I'm going to start streaming at the dead of night. I'm going to try, try to start streaming at the dead of night. <sighs> it's all things you gotta think about. Mm, this might be tough, because you're a special defense machine, am I correct? It's okay, because I have Dragon Rage. Let's see if any of your moves hurt me. That kind of hurts. Man, this is a... They really fucked up. Do you know how I know they fucked up designing dragons? Is that they only really added one other dragon, I think, into Gen 2, and that's Kindra. Let me see, let me fact check that real quick. But I'm almost positive the only dragon they added was Kingdra. Dragon. For some reason when you look up Pokemon Silver Dragon, Skarmory picks up and it's like, no, Skarmory is not a dragon. What? Okay, in games. Dragon type. These ads are so terrible on sites, by the way. Really bad. Of course, someone starts talking to me. Okay, let me see. No one cares about Pokemon. There we go. So we had. No one cares about this ad. Dragon. Dratini and Dragonair. And those. We did not get another Dragon type until Bagon and Shogun. That is not counting half types, because half types. Oh, apparently, Dra Dragon Knight is a half. Oh, yeah, it's Dragon Flying. Um. Wait a minute, it is. 
Secondary dragon types, okay. Kingdra. They literally only added Kingdra. And Kingdra is already a stupid, powerful Pokemon by being added as a dragon type. So they clearly fucked up with dragons, which is why they were super selective about adding more dragons. They're like, we already added one dragon to the game and it completely ruined the balance of the game. So we're gonna add a Pokemon that gets a third evolution that turns into a dragon. And it's like, oh god. It's too many dragons. They're too powerful. Too powerful to stop. Maybe if they had actually added some, like, not as strong dragon types, maybe that would have made Lance a little bit easier, but I also feel like the whole mystique about dragon was the fact that it was super hard to one, find Pokemon like it, and were super powerful. And number four, getting tired. Oh, these people think that I'm battling nonstop. Now, dude, I'm going back to the Pokemon Center. <laughs> what do you think I'm doing? Gloom! A level 28 Gloom, girl, what are you doing with your life? Seriously, think about it. A level 28 Gloom, that is nothing. Even I had level po level po Even the last guy wasn't this week. You had a Vaporeon and shit. Oh, that's not annoying. It's okay, I'll get rid of it. I ain't about to deal with that shit. If we had, if this was a Gen 3 game, if she could have been able to use Shed Skin, but this is not a Gen 3 game. My defense has been lowered, so I have to really think about this drill. Doesn't um, Dragonair's head kind of look like a shoe? Like, if you look at it, it actually looks like she just got, like, Kid Icarus's a shoe as a face. But then someone added a horn. <laughs> huh. Such a simple design. That is the little ball thing, too. Huh. Damn. Okay. That was easy. That was way too easy, actually. Level 43, baby! Super close now. But awesome! This might be slightly tougher now. So I'll use Dragon Rage. I'm pretty positive nothing Blossom knows could actually hurt me. Except for Stun Spore, that hurts me. Not like physically, just mentally it hurts me. And now she's gonna start the slow suck process. I was about to say, you have no good moves. I know your moveset. Level 31, you don't learn anything. So... Ooh, thank you for that smelly scent. Some smelly scent? Smelly scent. Dun 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 dun. Down she goes. Hmm. I feel like... The next Pokemon train has to be Nightmare uh, after Misty because he's the only Pokemon I have that can actually fight um, Sabrina. Uh, his main tactic is going to be using Hypnosis and then headbutting the shit out of his Pokemon, who should, in theory, not have any moves that can take him down. Oh fuck, that's a level 34 Nido Nido King. I don't think he knows any moves that can actually hurt me though. Let's find out. Shit. Okay. We're fine. Thrash is bad. Oh, Thrash is very bad. If I was lower level, that would have really hurt. Okay, I'm gonna see if I have... No, not gonna move over. There it is. Now he should be confused, hopefully. Perfect. Really? Come on, bro. Okay, now you're just dead. Leave my sight, peasant. Dude. At least I got decent XP from it. That was a one-two punch of, like, trying to... Wow, they used that the, the the other girl to soften it up. Hmm. Very suspicious. If I didn't have an Abra, I could have totally tried to catch an Abra there, I think. But I have an Abra, so I'm just gonna run forward. Go in here. Thank you. Dog barks. One more trainer, and then we can go uh, interrupt Misty's date. And we can be like, yo, leave. 
Stop trying to get that penis, Misty. I need you to get this. <laughs> I need to give. You need to give me that gym badge. That seems kind of rude. Now that I think about it, the fact that well, not just what I said. What I said was also very rude. But what, <laughs> what I'm trying to say, what I what I'm, um. I was told it was only six. There's another one. I'm the last in line, but I tell you, I'm tough. The fact that we're just interrupting our date. That must suck being gym leader, being like, you can't try and get with anyone. Because you never know if they're out it for you or they're in it for your gym badge. That's psychological warfare. Warfare? Why can't I talk today? Warfare. Parties. Bye, Paris. Nice of you to show up for the party. Now you're gone. Who's next? Another Paris. Okay. May as well check on the old Twitter. See what's going on. No one. You should check your Twitter too, while I fight a bunch of Paris that are in no way gonna fight me. We have Scoo here who says, I'm actually enjoying Legends again, so I guess I'm staying. But goddamn it, give me VB. I have every other new unit. Relatable. Not to me though. I pulled them. Um, <laughs> uh, Dragon Breath, yeah. Okay. It's great, because sometimes when I check on Twitter, it's a combination of learning how the protests are going, and then anime girl butt. Mostly it's like 80% protests, and then depending on the time of day, the anime girl butt shows up. Sometimes, though, it used to be much more anime. Just not the right time for it. I mean, occasionally, because sometimes you just need to pick me up, you know. For sure, you should stay ahead of what's going on. But sometimes you need to make sure that your mental awareness is okay. You know what I'm saying? No one can be super nerd pat. <laughs> okay. He sent out Porygon. This man looks like he makes um, YouTube breakdown videos. That's what I'm going to say, the bold statement about this man. It actually kind of looks like... a. A long-haired AVG ad now that I actually uh, look at him. The more I think about his attack. I also just realized that's a level 36 Porygon. Alright. My favorite story about why Porygon is named Porygon is that his name in Japan is Polygon. But then when it was translated, it was like, Porygon. And it's like, ooh. ooh. Very uncomfy. Because it's literally just the word polygon, but replacing the L with an R. So, like, you were like, when they were translated, they're like, oh, his name already sounds like something. Let's call him Porygon. It's like, oh no. You just accidentally made fun of <laughs> the people who manged him in the original. It also kind of shows how some of the, um, you better hit this or you're going to die, but, um,. Some Pokemon original names are just kind of like afterthoughts, I feel. Just like, oh yeah, this guy, he's a poly, he's a polygon. Aren't you tired at all? No, dude, I went to the... I've won your stupid bridge. Give me my nugget. Mmm, tasty, tasty. You could put that in some barbecue sauce or finger licking sauce. Aw, oh, shit. Come on. <laughs> I wanted my sauce. Cool trainer, Kevin. Shout out to Kevin's out all around the world. Damn, he's strong. Okay. Alright. No more fooling around. Time to actually be serious. You, sir. There's no move I think Rhyhorn would know that could take down Quetz in one hit. Well, good thing, too, she just took him down in one hit, so we don't have to worry about that, huh? But still, be very cautious about what this man uses next. Charmeleon, okay. He's gonna die in one hit. Because he's a water type. And even though Quetz is not a water type, this is also one of the strongest water type moves in this gym. One of. Not the. One of. Nice. That's 44, baby. Mm, 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 mm. That's the good stuff. War Turtle. This is going to be slightly problematic, I think. Well, no, it's not. I have Dragon Rage. Never mind. 
That's a win, everyone. We did it. War Turtle stands literally no chance, because all he knows is Bite. Because he didn't evolve into Blast Ice, he was one level off. Why did you train your Rhyhorn that high up, dude? You should have just trained the War Turtle and the Charmeleon, then you would have had a Blastoise and a Charizard. And why, don't, why don't you have Venusaur? That would have actually fit your entire aesthetic, but no. Was he just like one of the- is that a statement on Pokemon in general? <laughs> that he did not pick Bulbasaur? I've never had battle this good. That was good battle. Truly outstanding. Thank you. Cut the tree. Give me whatever this TM is. It's a protein. Okay. I'll take that. Ruining the date now. Oh yeah. And then he's like, <gasps> I can't show affection. Aw, why'd you have to show up and bug us now? Do you know what they call people like you? Pest, you hear me right? Pest. Oh, those badges. Oh. Are they Johto gem badges? If you have eight, you must be good. Okay, then come to Cerulean Gym. I'll be happy to take you on. One on one. Later, girl. Sorry for ruining your date, but you need to do your damn job. Damn right I knew, Bill. No, I don't have that. I don't have Lickitung. Alright, that's the end of today's video, everyone. I hope you liked it. And the next video will actually take down Misty. Till next time, everyone. Goodbye.